Nope, I'm out. I can deal with one powerful psychic mutant. One of my objectives is to find Strelik's stash, which I may have stopped caring about when I was getting attacked by every cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller in Eastern Europe. You really just have to look hard enough and- ah, oh, goddammit! Inside is a flash drive and some decent supplies, including an assault rifle that is a slight upgrade to the one I have. More importantly, I'm wondering if one of these artifacts can help it so I'm not constantly encumbered, because despite how big this inventory is, half of it being full means you're completely helpless and need a mobility scooter to get around. Some health regeneration, while slow, is better than none. And for people who got annoyed that I called this item delicious sausage last time, you don't even want to know what I'd call some of these artifacts. Like this anti-radiation pepperoni. However, I still have a serious problem. My mission objective is to steal the military's documents, and I gotta go up there for them. So frag shredding that mutant earlier was only a temporary solution. Time to face death with dignity, I guess, if I really have to. Up in this tower is the lookout who keeps spotting me, and I'm happy to report that the NPCs also have trouble hitting things right in front of them. Crazy! Mama! People told me to crouch more for accuracy, but I think filling a thing with bullets faster is what's doing the heavy lifting here. Take the documents to Barkeep. Yeah, of course, the guy the duty weirdos wouldn't let me see before. But Sonorovich put in a good word for me, because that means something in this terrible place. There's a lot of soldiers here, but still less than I expected. This game is haunted. Fuck this game. In my attempts to leave the area, I'm first killed by yet another unusually large pack of dogs, then an anomaly that sucks me right in, and then I'm able to find a path that isn't certain death. I know these artifacts are cool, but why does anyone live here? I'm on my way back and I go through the train yard again after taking care of more bandits. He said it! He did the meme, we can go home! So I kill all these guys again. Shut the fuck up! We just can't keep this one area secure, so I'm going through and- Oh, the military is here. So I go around the train yard and then back to Sidorovich to turn in my mission and maybe spend some time with my fellow stalkers, you know, hang around the fire a while. Ugh. Nice fucking model! Horrifying. Now, I want to go to the bar, I've wanted to go to the bar, but they wouldn't let me through before because they couldn't trust me. So I should probably do something for them so maybe they won't kill me on sight. Attention everyone, this is Duty Outpost at the Garbage. A horde of mutants is advancing from the dark valley towards the bar. Whoever helps us push back the scum won't regret it. Oh yeah, okay, I can shoot some mutants. Bullshit, I've got business with the barkeep. After you get past all the dogs, the bar was probably the safest place in the zone. I may have been there to talk to the barkeep, but as soon as I went in, I knew I was surrounded by old friends. There was the jank dogs, Sergeant Kitsenko, who we used to call the kitty, but not to his face. There was Sergeant Pikachu, Snitch the Snitch, nobody liked him. 
Then there was Vladdy two times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice. Get out of here, Stalker. Then there was Sergei two times. I said, come in. Don't stand there. I said, come in. Don't stand there. And then there was Barkeep. Nobody knew his real name, and I had some documents to hand over to him. Barkeep was the guy you went to when you needed work. He paid well, and he had a good stockpile of weapons. First, he tries to send me to get some documents in an underground lab, but I'm barely out of the loading screen, and I don't have any idea how to get to the Dark Valley yet. I've got other business, like killing the pack of dogs that harassed me outside. After I did that, Barkeep seemed to warm up to me and let me have a little more responsibility. He wants a flesh eye? Well, I happened to pick one up while I was traveling, and no, I didn't know what it was or what it did, but he wanted it and was willing to pay. Eliminate some garbage bandits? No problem. And this madman, against all the rules of the zone, sells me a gun that can actually hit things, because it has a scope on it. I didn't think that was allowed. I thought I was just supposed to pray for the bullets to hit things while everyone in the comments told me to lean more. So I got a gun that hits things and artifacts that make it so walking doesn't drain all of my stamina. I feel like I'm cheating. The garbage bandits are attacking this junkyard again, so their camp was empty. Yo, Cap, this is the second time I've had to defend this junkyard. Do you mind, uh... Is that guy okay? I know there's plenty of you asking me, Sibby, why aren't you playing Stalker modded, like with bug fixes and stuff? Well, kids, because then I miss out on moments like this. I go back to the barkeep and he starts telling me the story of a magic wish granter in the center of the zone. When the zone had just appeared, many people were trapped inside and cut off from the outside world. Most of them died pretty quickly, but there were a few lucky survivors who tried to do something about it. One of these survivors found himself by the station and noticed some strange light inside. With no way back, he decided to try to get closer. He saw the broken roof of the sarcophagus and the light coming out through it. He climbed up the wall and looked inside. Among the debris of metal and molten concrete, there lay a massive black rock. It was the monolith. The stalker managed to shake off the spell and realized that he had climbed very close to the sarcophagus, which was highly radioactive. He was scared to death, but through the fear he could sense the monolith calling to him. The monolith called to him, and he came to see the strange, unbelievable things about the monolith inside his head. Cool. I don't know what's true in this story and what's not, but the point is the guy made a wish which came true, while the zone grew by 5 kilometers. I'm gonna wish for it to take 10 kilometers. None of the other jobs the barkeep has really grabbed me, so I talked to a man desperate for help on the other side of the bar. Destroy the lair of the bloodsuckers sounds like my kind of party. Sounds like rooting out some vampires and staking them. It's in a part of the zone I haven't explored yet to the north. On the way, I meet some more heavily armored duty boys prowling around here. I literally just got in good with these guys, and I don't want to fuck it up now. Got what they deserved. Stinking oh, yeah. anarchy. Well done. Hey, as long as I didn't have to fail to sneak by them and die a few times before eventually killing them, I'm okay with your methods. Of course, I'm about to do a job for your enemies, so, uh... Daft Jank over here warns me about the bloodsucker infestation, but I'm too deep into this now to turn back. Oh, it's these fuckers. Let's see how you guys do when I'm not blindly shooting in the dark. Well, I'm not dead. What do we have here in this basement? A grenade launcher? I think it would be rude not to take it.
Okay, maybe this isn't the best solution. You showed them. You know what? Go see Skinflint at our base. He pays for good work. Skinflint? So you're saying he doesn't pay well? You know, these Freedom Boys seem alright. Heavily armored, but chill. Not killing me on sight. What's up, Ramblin' Man? Looking to drop in at our place, huh? Yeah? How about joining us, eh? Man, I've known about this faction for like five minutes. Let me look around first. Come on, join us. It's a lot of fun. I'll be your friend. No. Oh, you're mean. It's a lot of fun. I'm sorry, but I was told that this game wasn't about fun. It was about immersion in the bleak and desolate wastes of a depressing post-nuclear accident ravaged countryside and that having fun is for casuals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go see a man named Skinflint. People have been saying you took care of those bloodsuckers in the village. Is that true? Yeah? Was it tough? Uh, average? Yeah, sure. Pay me. Nice talking to you, Skinflint. Here are some tentacles. You look like a programmer who moonlights as a gigolo. Another guy, Lukash, is hanging around here, and maybe he can help me. I tell him I saw a bunch of duty guys hanging around, and... Look, I know I went around shooting whoever I wanted in the last episode, but that was just bad communication. I just made nice with the duty weirdos, and I'm not gonna ruin it now. This is one of those times that calls for a safety save in case I piss everyone off. Okay, I'm reporting to Max. Hey, you boy? I can't shoot through walls, Max! What do you want me to do? Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Okay, so he tells me to talk to Lukash, who won't let me turn in a mission. Uh, Alright, something's gone wrong in this quest. Wait, no, I want to go back to my safety save. Why are you just heading for the wall, Max, you shithead? You guys want freedom in the zone? I'll give you freedom in the zone. I'll give you all freedom. Yes, good game. Perfectly designed. Forget about whatever the Freedom guys are doing. I'm not getting involved right now because every time I try, I end up getting killed by a single bullet fired from a gun 50 yards away by someone who can hit things while not crouching. To get to my mission, I have to pass into the Dark Valley, and instead of finding a better way to get there, I do the pro strat of walking through an irradiated area and getting shit-faced. Please, please, don't kill me. Your partner is being taken to the abandoned factory. That's all I know, I swear. Abandoned factory? That could be any of the buildings here. Just don't let me see you ever again. Hey, man, come up here. Help us grab our friend from these bastards. Yeah, sure, uh, friend. We're still friends, and I did not help the Freedom guys murder a bunch of you. Follow me. I know a good place for an ambush. I'll thank you for your help. At duty, we always pay our debts. Yeah, okay, do you have any 5.56 five, rounds? Because this weapon I have takes them, and they're hard to find. All these bandits carry 9 mil and shotgun shells, everyone else carries 5.45. Five. It's a hassle, you know? Hide on the other side of the road. They'll be here soon. Open fire only after. Wait, what? Wait. Thanks, friend. Hell, I already kissed my life what? goodbye. You're you feeling all right? Then we're going back. Oh, you. Uh, 
Jumbo. Thanks, friend. Hell, I already kissed my life goodbye. Thank this stalker. He's the one who helped me. All right, well, this was fun, boys, but I need to be on my way to find this underground lab, which is probably a long hike. Oh, no, wait, it's right here. I'd really like to be able to carry this RPG, but, uh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, right, I have to go to another bandit hideout up the road to find the key. Hey, Stoker, help me out. Open the door to this damn cell. The controls are on the wall. Okay. Thanks, bro. You really helped me. Yeah, what do you got for me? Oh, yeah. I already killed everybody here and raided the armory, so go now, you're free. Tell every one of my good deeds. And the bad ones, too. All right, into the lab we go. Another dark, spooky underground base, but this time it was locked, so there can't possibly be anyone down here. Oh, cool, we've got a poltergeist now. I was so excited to have a gun that hit things, I forgot to get one that dealt with Class II non-corporeal psychokinetic disturbances, found in Section 1, Page 8 of Tobin's Spirit Guide under Basic Classifications. So I guess I'm fucked. These things, though, they're called snorks, and they respond to bullets, as you'd expect. That fire, though, I don't know why that's happening. That's unrelated. Yep, uh-huh. We're not going that way. There's plenty of different anomalies here, too, and I found that a lot of them you can just run through if you're quick enough. Okay, not that one. Excellent. I'm glad you have been granted level 2 access. Find out what our lab actually does now. Your access code is 1, 2, 4, 3. No, fuck off, not again! No, fuck off, not again! I think that this is the first time I found anything in one of these stashes. God damn it, stop throwing shit at me! Yeah, okay. Alright, second code, what now? Oh, yeah, this is... awful. Am I getting the files from here so you guys can replicate these experiments? Because I'd prefer we didn't. Okay, so in-universe we're calling that a poltergeist. I'm seeing this correctly. Oh, 
Jesus, why? I know what you're thinking. I'm absolutely boned. There's nothing I can do against Poltergeist. I'm not equipped for that. I really didn't think that was going to work. Oh no, here we go. We're getting sucked into a cutscene. It's okay, we're fine, we're just... 